<laughs> so also 23 degrees. No, it's uh, 750 degrees. Okay, so let me... Um, this and then okay so next step let's do this on off switch We've got a bunch of LEDs. Oh, you know, I don't know if I grabbed LEDs. I have to check my stash. leaded solder because at work we're lead free but I'm at home shoot I did not bring any LEDs I want to skip the LEDs Let's see if I have any 06 or 03 LEDs Southern is right there. Oops, that's the base. Hold on. It's just a bunch of LEDs. Ugh, it's an empty bag of LEDs. Damn you. No, I don't have any. All right, I'll skip the LEDs and I'll just okay, do them. Here, turn around. I'm going to do the first thermal. Uh, okay, wait. Yeah, turn around. Okay, here we go. Is this a thermal camera? Yeah, this is thermal camera. Okay, we'll see if it picks up. Oh, you know what? I forgot that I brought home. I didn't put the LEDs because I brought home my handy dandy patch box of components. That's, I thought ahead, then I forgot. Okay, so I've got all my components here, so great, I can use. So on LED is going to be green, got a green LED, and then we're going to have a red LED for this one over here, and then did I bring any yellow LEDs? No, nope. I didn't. I'll just use, uh, I'll just use green here. Here, I'm going to switch to the uh, overhead real quick. Yeah, sure. And can you hold this camera up just in front of the camera? So this is on Twitter right now, so I took a photo. Okay. So yeah, so you can see that. So this is a solder man. Yeah, and I think if you. Hot. Yeah, and you if you tap hot. the yeah, if you tap the screen, I think it'll it'll do temperature, like it'll say what temperature something. Is. Say what temperature? Okay. Yeah. I've never seen anyone do that before, so I figured. I, I want to do this in a safe way, and it's. I'm trying to, but I tap the screen. It doesn't say the temperature. Yeah, I think they put it in a different way. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with this. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, pretty much the hottest thing is this is iron. This iron is super hot. Yeah. Anyway. The base is really hot, too. As is the screen. Yeah, I can see the screen. Yeah, it's good. Right. I think it, and there's a mode where it Jeez. 
having fun taking thermal cans? Uh, yes, yeah, sort of. Is it not working? Well, uh, oh, sure it can. All right, great. Yeah, if you want to show, you can show the temperature now. Here. Okay, hold on. Okay, so now. Oh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, it's doing a pretty good guess. It says 500 when it's really 750. But it's getting close. It's like 550 or so, 600. It's very hot. But the base, even though it looks hot, it's actually not hotter than um, 100 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, hot. Okay. Don't touch. All right. Okay. Hopefully that was educational. I don't know, someone should do that, beat that. Thermal cam? Mm. All right, I'm going off on these LEDs. Yeah, I'm gonna go to like. Mm. to do the 1K resistors. Grab a bunch of these. What's the best way to learn SMT without destroying an expensive kit? Well, that's a good question. Um, there's probably some low-cost kits available. I mean, like, I guess it depends on what you mean by expensive. Um, you know, another thing you can definitely do is um, look on Oshpark for a design. I'm sure that there's, like, an SMT practice kit. I totally soldered the wrong side of these resistors. Um, and then, you know, send a couple boards out for manufacturer, and then you have, like, three or four to test with. Like especially if you can find one with like 1206 resistors and capacitors, it's, it's a good way to start. 